the sad part is they have left the truth and they call their Christian majority of the people today have become the lip service of believers rather than to give a true yielding service of heart to be circulated in doctrine day in and day out which they take the only circulation of doctrine which has to be the key, which has to be the reason, which has to be the purpose. And the majority of the people have gone astray, dear brother. Therefore, Jeremiah writes long back, long back before this crowd could come, tell to warn to tell them be aware about this canopies be aware about this tiflos be aware about this sharuras this canape minded pastors who really stray away from the right path Wherewith the church age has been designed, wherewith the church age has been told. That daily teaching, daily emphasizing in the word of the Lord is much more needed than anything else on this earth. Because man does not live by bread alone, but by every word which comes from the mouth of Lord God Almighty. But what do they do today? They say weekly once is not enough for them because the congregation will be tired in this and tired in that and they can't attend the churches. Nothing, your reasons are higher to be considered or deserving to be considered in the presence of Lord God Almighty when you stand to teach, to tell that why you were failed, you are not to reach MGG in Christ. These things that you think that are comparable, that are justifiable to ignore doctrine to give daily, to teach them daily, in order to execute them daily. Only when you wake up in the heaven at the judgment seat of Christ, you will find why you haven't given number one priority for this true word of law. that time you will find pleasurable things on this earth justifiable things by your roles in nature if the demonetization in India which was being bought by the present PM Narendra Singh Modi sixty to seventy days the people suffered and then later on what happened they got adjusted to the new currency notes. Is it, is it was impossible? It was possible. We are not politicking into the other matters of which he has designed it or for what he has designed it. But I am telling you the way how the people got oriented to that. Exactly if you go on to teach the word of the Lord every day, the first 60, 70 or 100 days there will be a problem for you to get oriented to doctrine provided the pastor teacher should be readily available with the information to teach about this great mystery doctrine of the church age, not to go on to look upon the Eusebian principle, not to go upon to look upon the morality standards, but rather emphasize them about the mystery doctrine and get them orientation to the true godliness in Christ and teach them the true fear in the Lord and train them to become the prisoners for Christ. If he has that information, he knows that he doesn't have enough time and he makes twice a day to teach, not just once. That should be the growth. That should be the eagerness of the congregation to learn and to know the truth. And that should be a more right authentication of the true bona fide gifted pastor teacher in manifesting the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit by demonstrating to teach the word. 
Before the completion of canon, apostles were given this authority by signs and miracles and wonders to prove that he was been sent by God. But now, the pastor teacher, if he has been given truly the bona fide gift, his authority could be proven only when he is daily exegeting, isolating and categorizing the word of the Lord in a day-by-day -day process. Emphasizing upon the mystery and making every believer to be bond slaves for Christ in order to know by learning the word and making them to engage to know the truth from Genesis 1 1 to Revelation 22 21 without fail. And that will be the sign of a true pastor teacher, dear brethren. But what are we finding today? We are finding the same kleptes, lestes, misthotes, two past minded pastors. Who have rejected the truth. Who have neglected the truth. Who have not learned to know the fear of God. Neither they were giving time for doctrine. Dear brethren, be aware about this canapes who teach to transgress God's truth, God's law, God's order, God's imperative mood command. Kerusothon Lagan, what to teach? The mystery doctrine, mystery doctrine, mystery doctrine that we have to teach. The word of the Lord has to dwell in us richly, plausious, lavishly. Because of that great surpassing power of strength which is more than enough for us. To attain that work which our Lord has given for us. To reach that goal which our Lord has designed for us. Because we have already been made, he can have, oh, made fit. We have been rendered qualified. Through the great justification process by faith alone in Christ alone. And you have been called to take in the things pertaining among the inheritance of that great glory in Christ. The glorious glory of our Lord. But the pastors of today's generation tell. We will not get oriented to daily teaching the word. Because the congregation is not there. If you have one person to learn the truth. You go on to teach them. You are not answerable to the congregation. You are answerable to the great Lord God Almighty. That great grace which has bestowed upon us. That great reality which has told upon us. Those great things which have been given for us. Which is our only criteria, which is our only privilege, which is our only thinking. For that great grace which has been bestowed, we need to be answerable by walking worthy, axios. So that we should not be ashamed. In nothing we have been ashamed by our Lord for our salvation. Then why we should be ashamed when we stand in the presence of the Lord? And you will be ashamed and afraid only when you are not doing the MGG work by pressing towards the mark of high calling in Christ. Among all the creation which our Lord has made, we are the splendorous one, the church age. And for us the great high calling in our Lord, with this great high and polytema privileges given to us, are more than the things which you can think you can pay in terms of money. You can exchange in terms of your things, of your wisdom of this earth. 
All these things are nothing in comparison to that greater glory which our Lord has bestowed upon us. You as a believer have to wake up. Have to purchase the time. Only in the fellowship of light guard the Holy Spirit by using rebound 1 John 1 9 in the privacy of your priesthood so that you could exercise the heavenly aristocrat work so that you could be readily available by your kingship writing at least once the Bible why I'm telling you all to write the Bible at least once because of this kleptes, lestes, mistotes, tupas because of this canapes minded pastors, tiflos who have been smearing you up with untempered mortar and plastering you out and the sharuras who are strengthening for you to do evil and telling for a point of not returning back and teaching their, li their lies or falsehood because of this man you have to write at least once because you should at least get acquainted what is there in the Bible if you read if you can know if you can understand therefore Apostle Paul writes in Philippi Ephesians 3 only when you read then you will know the knowledge about this dispensation and it is not just reading now it is writing because the trends have been absolutely changed An unbeliever can read the Bible equivalent with you. What difference is there between you and him? Does not 2 Corinthians 6, 16 through 18 teaches for us, you have to have a specifically defined life in Christ. It may not be equally yoked with unbelievers. If the unbelievers are reading Bible several times and you tell I have also read the Bible, what difference does it make? You have to be above them. Therefore, in the privacy of your kingship of work which has been given to you, of your royal kingship, you have to write at least once. Defending two birds at one stone. Number one, learning the truth, getting acquired to perceive in the truth. Because they will transgress laws. Because they will certainly break it out, the things pertaining to God's statutes. And they will certainly violate that statutes and break the covenant of the Lord. So that you should know now, what are you in Christ? So that you should live a life that is worthy to Christ in this church age. And how you can live until as you have not known until unless you have not been given thorough instructions how to live your life on this earth. It has to be by the true bona fide gifted pastor teacher to training you up. And since that pastor teacher doesn't have enough time for you to train you up. And he's indulging himself thinking that he is hazarded if it doesn't fulfill the lustful patterns of his old sin nature. Then certainly what happens? You are deprived of this great spiritual wealth in Christ. You have been infringed by not learning to know the truth. And when you are infringed by not being able to become the great invisible hero in God, you will not come back again to this earth to perform that work. Now is the time, today is the day for you to become that invisible hero by taking number one priority for doctrine, by cross-checking what is there in the Bible and what the things they are teaching in the pulpits and what the life you are living totally alien to the plan of God. Today is the time for you to know these things. And many men have not understood to live a life worthy for the grace of God, in the grace of God, to the praise of God, to the glory of God. They are counting these things not to be worthy. Who is going to sit and listen doctrine for more than one hour? The churches are so designed for one and a half an hour of program in that giving 17 to 20 minutes for the word 
But the remaining things, they say zero. They want to have for their announcement of secretarial one, the programs which will be there in the week or in the month. They want to give for time for offerings. But when it comes to teach the word of the Lord, only 15 to 17 minutes. And in that 15 to 17 minutes, what it has been emphasized? Morality. To leave your drinking, to leave your prostitution work. Already if you are a believer in this church age, you were such a person earlier, but now you are sanctified and justified and you have been kept apart for God's greater use. For greater vessel of honor. You are being possessed by the Trinity indwelling in you. You are being redeemed and kept for His work. You are no longer of your own. Those moral standards teachings are required for the unbelievers in the church. But not for you as a believer in the Lord. You are being told to look upon that great mystery doctrine in Christ. And the canapes minded pastors will stray away from the right path. They will show forth the evil actions and destroy you being the temple of God. So dear brethren, you should know that our Lord is finding in us evil in the pulpits of the churches which has chosen us today. When you are following to such kind of an evil thing, you will be using slippery in the darkness. Because when there is no light, not only there is no light, but in fact even indeed you are being turned out to become slippery. Is it required for us? Does not our Lord teach in the incident of John chapter 11 pertaining to Lazarus that there are 12 hours in a day while it is in the light that you have to be thoroughly working and walking. When it is in the night you will stumble. But when you have that word of the Lord as light of the Lord being his word, our lamp, you will neither stumble. Therefore, our Lord said, I am the light of the world. And in the, during the period of Isaiah, they were being told, Walk you in the light of the Lord, you children of Israel, hear his word. But when you hear to such kind of a canapes, they will certainly make you to slick spots in the gloom. And in the darkness you will be expelled and you will fall. And because of that you are not in a position to recover back. Lord will get year evil upon evil. Year by year. Visitation. Evil upon evil. Is that required for us? You are answerable to God, not to me. When you ignore doctrine. And you will certainly find the Tiflos, the second category in the Hebrew, who plaster with untempered mortar, who teach you foolish things, foolish things of morality, foolish things of prosperity gospel, foolish things of charismatic gospel. When they are teaching to you these foolish things, you love to take them. Because you want temporary relief from the sufferings which has been designed for you. Without capacity, without doctrine, you don't have that capacity even to look and understand. And you may be thinking to worry, what is this? You have been tempered with untempered mortar. You have been plastered with that. Your consciousness has been seared up. 
you never give doctrine number one priority you are having all xyz reasons xyz methods xyz steps but no doctrine because of this thief loss pastors because of this thief loss pastors who teach to you contrary to the mind of christ who are alien to the plan of god they will lead you into astray to such kind of an astray that the spiritual life and the mystery doctrine the isobian principle the bond slave of god the prisoners for christ is been erased that is your astray and our lord said during that period of jeremiah the prophets in jerusalem were sharuras they have done something fearful and horrible they have caused them to commit adultery and in today's christian and the adultery grieving and squelching and lying to the ministry of lord god the holy spirit by living a life according to your roles in nature according to your lustful patterns and tell to you they are living two things they are telling to you that you are living the things pertaining to you in this manner in that manner no man can serve two men said the lord one will either hate the one or he will be hating the other one but he cannot serve the two but here they say follow legalism and fear god so that nothing bad can happen to you because you are serving that lord lord doesn't even dare enough to look at you because of your dual minded double tongue nature in the sight of the people fearing god but in a practices fearing satan that is adultery and they go on to teach to you falsehood they strengthen your hands to do evil so that you should never come back and turn back from that evil and our lord said they are all like unto me sodoma they are have become the ones indwelling in gomora if the believers reject doctrine they are like gomora the pastor teachers who are rejecting to train them up in the true word of the lord they are like the sodomites be aware about this thing Do not enter into that pulpit ministry if you don't have the true bona fide gift and think that you are teaching the great things of God without being thoroughly enlightened in the word of the Lord in teaching the truth. It takes time. It takes thorough preparation. It takes to honor our Lord through his word alone. thought being thoroughly trained thoroughly prepared in the mentor ministry of light get the holy spirit you can never know the power of the word neither the things which are been given in this word in order to be a true witnesses for christ on this earth so dear brethren think over these issues time is too short the responsibility given for us is too large as we can look upon these things that the purpose of the true bona fide gifted pastor teachers which is of a great value which is of a great significance is far more superior even comparison to the work of satan which it thought to rebel against my god and its pride the concept thought of satan to be in isaiah 14 14-15 or in the manner which satan thought in comparison to that the work of the true bona fide gifted pastor teacher is far more superior to serve the lord only when he is rightly dividing the word of the lord 
Never play gimmicks with the congregation of the Lord. But rather truly edify them through proper isagogics, categories and exegetical explanation of the word with the right dispensing technique of dispensations. So dear brethren, today the wind is too strong and it has been made into two parts of these tapes. We shall come back and continue tomorrow. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing moments being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope and without eternal life. In order to tell to Lord God the Father that you believe upon Christ, that is the moment itself, you shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for us for very simple, the living Christ, you shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the greatest matter is to grow up in grace and knowledge of Bible doctrine. You shall learn to acquire to possession of the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor, teach us the greatest matter is to carry Satan Lagan. Herald the word in season out of season, because the diamond from my witnesses will have been called. The number one diamond from my witnesses in well infinity, followed by well in our hands. Number two, witnesses are hearers. If there are no hearers, they will not worry. Besides nature, the entire angel will still be our witnesses. But what is our work? Our work is to rightly, faithfully, truly divide the word of the Lord. However, the chips may fall, we are not worried. We are here only for the truth. So which way you want to go, you decide, dear brethren. We shall come back and continue tomorrow. Father, we are very grateful for this great privilege that was given to fellowship with thee through the word. We pray, Father, that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and enlighten us in these things and challenge us for the true purpose of calling in Christ, for if he has chosen us in Christ, for your possessed greater strength, through the Casa Carcio, wherewith we could be sufficed in thy grace. In Christ's name we pray, Father. Amen.